dyslexia can have a tough impact on a surprising number of students in the early stages of learning. Yale researchers have found 20% of the population is affected by dyslexia. It represents 80 to 90% of those with learning disabilities. But KLTV's Christine Guevara reports, during this Dyslexia Awareness Month, Region 7 celebrated students today as they gain an understanding of their learning differences. 150 students from 15 East Texas school districts came out to the Region 7 facility today to embrace and learn more about their dyslexia. Because a student has difficulty with reading, they're sometimes excluded from some of the other extracurricular activities and they kind of feel isolated, you know, when all of their other peers are learning how to read and just reading, you know, novels and things like that and they're not able to do that. Dr. Angela Venters is the Region 7 curriculum specialist. She kickstarted the Dyslexia Day celebration last year because she wanted to bring importance to these students and let them see that you know they're not the only one there are lots of other kids that have that same challenge um, but it, you know whatever they put their mind to they can achieve that and so that's really what we want them to leave here with today some students shared how the learning difference affects them the challenges I faced were I could bear I didn't comprehend what I read and so I would have to reread what I have already read to understand it understand Understanding words and like, you know, how to like pronounce sounds. So I was saying my mom's name weird. Like I was saying like, Yaya and my, like I keep home my my real daddy Shelly. Some of the brightest people struggle to read. Slow readers can often be very fast, creative thinkers. With today's celebration, those students tell us they feel seen and heard as they took part in activities that stimulated collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. What it makes me feel is like I'm not the only one that's dyslexic. I just feel so special to be here. Christine Guevara, KLTV 7 News. Last year, there were about 12,000 dyslexic students in Region 7.